Hemp Shriver on the near side. And it's Love, 15. Payman had two break points in the last game and lost them both. problem all day long. She just hasn't been punishing those volleys. And Steffi Graff. 15 all. Court, I believe, on the service was Steffi 30, Graf. 15. Well, the umpires are no longer calling the let courts. There's a let court judge right on that court, Bob, so they shouldn't be making any mistakes down there. Steffi Graf, the number 11 seed. Tam Shriver, number 4. And that's what Steffi Graf has been doing so well all day long against Pam Sir. 30. All. Oh. Some very tough returns right to Pam's feet. Pam just hasn't been doing enough at the net. Pam struggling, hoping she can get into the tiebreaker with this game. Ooh. 40, 30. Graf has only had one tough round. That was her first against Stanford's Patty Fendick. After that, she's beaten Ann Minter, Ann White, and the eighth seed Manuela Maleva. She's playing awfully well. else is happening over there, Mary? Some papers keep coming down from way, way up high. Now we got a, a goal. Well, he's probably more scared now than Pam Shriver was. Down 5-6, starting her serve. They had a delay just like this at 3-2 in the first set tiebreaker. Two pieces of paper came down, and it took it about two minutes before it finally landed on the court. This will hurt Pam more than Steffi, this delay. Quiet, please. 40-30. Five, six. out it was long now we go Mary to the tiebreaker Steffi Graf has been doing such a good job of attacking all day long from the baseline she has avoided the net entirely Sar hit two great shots when she was down 3-0 in the first set tiebreaker. Return serve very well. Shriver lost the first set in a tiebreaker. Yeah. 
up approach. Three, two one. tentative. It's been Grab. the story of Pam Shriver all day long. She's just a little bit too tight. Amazing to me when Grab gets near that service line, Mary, that she doesn't come on in and volley. She retreats. Problem. She's not dominating at the net. She's not putting that ball away. Steffi had to scramble to make the return, and Pam was right there. And now she serves at 2-3 in the tiebreaker after losing the first set in a tiebreaker. They will change sides now. Now Steffi Graf Quiet, please. to serve the next two. three for Pam Shriver the young 16 year old obviously very upset and it's set point for Pam in fact she has a, several of them to send this to a third set of the many distractions here. Mary, you always feel that some of these things affect Pam more than her opponent. I think so. I think Pam's emotions are always very close to the surface. Serving for the set.
100 degrees Let's out in the bright sunshine. You can hear her. Pam Schreiber in the tiebreaker Game with the second set. 7-6. Now she has a chance all. to go to the third set and stay in the tournament. All right, back live at the U.S. Earlier this week, I'm going to have to get my serve going a lot better than that to do any kind of damage at the open. And in this third and final set, finally, she's relaxed her service motion enough to do well with it. 1-4 now, final set. Fifteen love. love as Pam is long with it. <laughs> Steffi Graf coming to the net, only 16 years old. Mary, how do you feel about the future of this young lady? She's real good, Bob. I mean, right now, she's very, very tough. She's the 11th seed here, so that says an awful lot. She rarely comes to the net, though, and she could be two feet inside the service line and back off. So that will have to change. 40, 15. She's got the shots to come in on, too, Mary. That's a great heavy forehand. An interested spectator, Martina Navratilova. They're in the same half of the draw. Martina watches an awful lot of matches. She watched Heinz Gunhardt, her mixed doubles partner, rally to win yesterday against Henri Lacombe. Shriver has really gone to the towel an awful lot. She's taking a lot of sips of water out there. She's really feeling the heat. And a match like this, you really start to feel a certain emotional fatigue as well. It's been a tough day for Pam. Well, it was 40 love. Now it's deuce. And if Pam breaks here, she could be walking to the clubhouse with a victory very shortly. Up 4-1 in the third. Groff caught, caught her flat-footed, and she's had a couple of cold winners from the baseline as well off Pam. Pam just not moving to the ball. Game, Graf. That one is wide, and Steffi Graf holding service now, and she's back Driver to 2-4 two two. in the third. And again, a genuine lack of locomotion from Pam Shriver. This young player, only 16 years old, has made Pam grope and lunge for the ball all afternoon. And the shot to watch from Steffi Graf is that forehand. She comes over the ball, high, follow through, puts a lot of topspin on it, but it's a heavy kind of shot. She can penetrate Shriver with that shot. I hope that Pam would blow the overhead. Pam, of course, here for the seventh time, the number four seed. Just having to serve out to win the match. She leads right now at 4-2. she runs around Mary she sees that ball floating and she lines that forehand up and really goes for it very powerful legs on Steffi Graf <laughs> Steffi has had an awful lot of success off of Pam's second serve <laughs> but not that 
big time. Boy, what an angle. 30, and Pam 15. has had some big serves in this set at very opportune times. On this. She knows Pam's coming in, so she finds the angle. And Pam, once again, groping unsuccessfully for a tough sh shot of Groff's. Boy, what a big point this is. Break point. Groff could get back to 3-4, and then she'd be serving to tie things up. return to that match. We're in a rain delay at the U.S. Open. We'll return with more tennis after these words from your local cable systems. They can. I can't. You have to. I can't. You have to. I can't. Solve crime. We solved it. Diamonds on USA. Premieres October 9th at 9, 8 Central. Have you been sidelined because of an injury which occurred at work or as a result of an automobile accident or perhaps by a defective product? At the law firm of Hartley, Ekman, and Bodenhammer, we understand the stress and hardship often associated with an injury. Call us for your free consultation, at which time we'll inform you of your rights under Texas law. Remember, there's no charge for your initial consultation. With Hartley, Ekman, and Bodenhammer, you have friends helping to balance the scale. Three in the third set with Groff serving. Two coaches, Don Canyon, the floppy head, and Hank Harris, her traveling coach, sitting right next, next to him. They've been very animated in this third and final set. Don Candy on the left there, Mary, one of the great Australian Davis Cup players many years ago with Mervyn Rose, a fine doubles player. Nervously watching as their protege, Ham Shriver, now needs a service break to avoid being tied up here in the third set. Steffi Groff to serve down 3-4. that play of Shriver. She's got such a long stride that she saw that ball floating, took a couple of those big strides and was right in at net. stage of the match a couple of tiebreakers and now a tight third set will a player often do things to close out a point a little quicker from a fatigue standpoint on a day like this hard to know Bob. hard to know how they're both feeling out there I think Groff is in terrific shape oh. 30 all how about Pam Pam always looks 
like a whipped pooch out there. You know, it's really, uh, it's just too hard to know. I think it's impossible for us to say. <laughs> nature of Pam's game to have come in and attack. She just had, she must be so terribly disappointed with her volleying today. Quiet please ladies and gentlemen. She hasn't been stinging them and Graf is quick enough to get so many of them back. She's really skunked her a bunch of times with some passing shots. Steffi Graf serving now to tie things up 4-4 in the third. Double fault. I think Steffi knew that one was gone as soon as she hit it. Now a big break point for Pam Shriver. for the match at 5-3 in the third. Driver leads 5-3. Well, it was right there for Steffi, Mary, and she just couldn't come up with the big points. It's a pity that Steffi didn't play a bigger game in that one. That was a time when you've really got to be bold, and she wasn't. Look how hot it is out there. Right, That thermometer is sitting right on the court. It's 100 degrees down there. Pam again going to the towel. Grandstand court next door. These men are in action on the stadium court. I'll update that for you momentarily. Another winning shot by Graf off of Schreiber volley. Love 15. This volley of Pam's is going to sit up. That's such a tough return. Graf's been making them all day long. She really knows how to play Pam. out there too is tight and it's it's humid there's not as much air on that grandstand court as there is on the huge stadium court of server. When Pam closes in, she hits it to her shoe tops. That time, Pam elected to stay back, so she drove it deep. Couple of break points. Will we have our third service break in a row? was exciting three years ago. This is not so exciting today. Those are a few of the diehards that are hope court serving to try to tie the third set at five all. That's a nice volley. Well, 15. Pam had a little bit of bite on that backhand volley. in the quarterfinals of the 1984 U.S. Open in a big surprise to Wendy Turnbull. Fifteen thirty. Now 
now she's two points away from the semis. Great shot from that low. had just sent the ball over for Shriver to serve at five all. Door, Matt Spillander hammering Anders Jared in the third set. Five love now. And here on Grandstand Court, we have got a dandy. Schreiber, after losing the tiebreaker, winning a second, now serving at five all. and something very unusual happening on stadium court. The players have gone to their seats, Barry. It is wise to drink plenty of liquids and to get out of the direct sunlight from time to time. Proper concern. Pam Schreiber has taken the all-important 11th game and leads it 6-5. We'll be back with this match in a moment. 
We're in a rain delay. First day, first round of the 88 U.S. Open. And we'll be back to show you the conclusion of that Shriver Groff match after these words from your local cable systems. Who done it? Did you manage to get a look? Grandstand court, Steffi Groff serving. Down 5 6. It's 15 all in the 12th game. She must serve here to force it to a tiebreaker. Pam didn't hit it too hard, but she got the length she needed. Two points now from the semifinal for Pam Shriver. Oh, wow. right down the middle. What a serve. <laughs> Steffi Graff does not own a big serve, but she and knows how to Graff. steer it into the right part of the court. This for six all. to this shot because the backhand is well disguised. She was looking for a long one. She didn't get it. Six all. Going the limit for the third straight set. And Pam will have the first serve. That's a big point with Steffi serving the next two. Paper again, a double delay for both players. Thank you. Graf just 16.
two tiebreakers up till now. There's the scoreboard. Six all in the third. And now 3-1 Graf with Shriver serving. Set. First serve. the changeover after six points. The grandstand court seats 6,000. It is packed to the hilt, especially with the men's match coming to an early end next door. score all along Mary they have really been excited by this great match really have and Graf has kind of caved in these last couple of points of the tiebreaker Pam is going to take her time and try to control the rhythm of the rest of the points Just know that Pam is churning inside right now. Martina watching. Even at age 16.